Okay. So, yeah, first one is the pollen frames from LFP hives. We're going to use this one. This pollen is important to use. Okay. Yeah, these are the pollen frames. Your frame number one or what? Frame number one. Two. Yeah. This is number three. This is one five three. You add on yourself just to remember. Okay. We were trying to brand a number so that they wouldn't steal them. Okay. Don't let me tell you how that came about because that doesn't <laughs> really mean nothing. <laughs> but it's from one year ago, right? Yes, from last year. This is number four. Okay. Number five. This is number six. All this infection as well. Okay. This one has no scale or some scale, but loss of pollen. We need a pollen basically for bees to consume and producing loss of uh, worker jelly when they consume Caspian solutions that will have over 95% natural prevention on American farbrood, which is we will add on video. Uh, how in chromosome rosary or worker jelly has a anti-infectional property as well as supplementary for the larva to grow. This is frame number one and then frame number two as we see all these infections one thing we want to do is the part has a scale, you scrape it, can you see all these infections coming? Bees will rebuild all this, and also not only that. In order to prove how much uh, how these products work, we can add all these infections into their syrup. Still, will not create any infections. Which is one cell can be contain over two million spore, and twelve of that spore can infect one larva, and then disease becomes epidemic. Well, the reason we pick up the worst ones, then we can say if we can cure these ones, to cure the other ones is easy. Okay. Well, bees will rebuild here. Yeah, no problems. You see infections here? Still, it's like a liquid form. Yes, I do. They have to eat them, right? They have to eat them and then throw them and rebuild the wax after. And then we will use these uh, also these uh, wax when it's mixed with uh, other wax. We will coat them on frame, and we will add uh, pheromones to the wax. Bees will rebuild them instead of the producing. They will rebuild the AFB wax. Trying to help the bees. So, they have to clean this one to rebuild. Okay. Anyway, 
this is second run. Yeah, the pheromone is interesting. When you do that, bees become gentle, so gentle, sort of quiet for half an hour. After that, flying almost sometimes, if it's auto something, it's starting to fly huge. Sometimes it goes like a swarm flying, you know, after they got the pheromone, they know they want to know, they want to consume so much pollen. Oh, really? Yeah, they go, it looks like so much larva, they're going to collect, you know. That's basically all those actions to collect the pollen is related to pheromone from larva. But slowly, pheromone will get released, you know. The one danger is with the pheromones. If you have so much pheromones, the colonies you're releasing, and then no pollen, means they will use their body proteins. But if you have enough pollen in the nature or in the colony, it wouldn't be problems. By tomorrow afternoon, you will have some comb made it here. Yeah. This brood we can give to other hives over there with the nukes. We can separate them from here and there. Then there will be enough population to cover here. I will, we will deal with those ones. First, we try to install the AFP frames. Okay. See the bottom, a little bit caspium was there. Bees are taking them. is enough for three frames of AFP now. Yeah, this one can go to the Now we have to deal with the AFP frames. Okay. These are the three more AFP frames. All we have to do now, we have to close this lid, is here. Before the comes up. Yeah, tomorrow, by tomorrow afternoon, we will have lost home made it.